going guys i hope you're all doing well out there today wherever you are in the world and in this video i'd like to give you my personal introduction to synergy guitar amps um, now the guys at synergy reached out and asked if i would like to check out some of their stuff and obviously being the tremendous gear nerd that i am i said absolutely so if you're not familiar with the synergy stuff essentially they offer these preamp modules here that slot in and out of uh, either their amps or their preamps to completely alter the tone and features of the amp. So for example, this one here, we've got a Bogner Ecstasy uh, in the amp currently. We've got the Diesel Herbert. If I wanted to, pop out the Herbert, put in the Ecstasy, and then you've got the preamp of the Ecstasy now sitting in this head, which is awesome. Now, you may have seen something similar to this before. I believe it was originally conceived by Bruce Egnator and then later licensed by Randall. However, what sets the Synergy stuff apart from the things that have gone before is before the preamp modules were just a take on famous circuits, whereas now they've partnered with a load of brands and those particular amp manufacturers designed the modules and voiced them to get as close to the original amps as possible. We've got uh, brands like Bogner, Morgan, Fryer, Friedman. Uh, so you've got a really eclectic uh, set of preamps that you can slot in and out of any of their amps or preamps. Now, as well as modules designed by all of these great boutique amp manufacturers, they also have their own take on some classic amp designs. So there's an 800, which is a Marshall inspired thing. OS, which is a Dumble inspired thing, a couple of Fender inspired modules, uh, and they've also got a Steve Vai signature model as well. So there really is, uh, if you can imagine it, there's probably a module for it. <laughs> Sat here, I have the Sin 30, which is a 30 watt all tube head, uh, which has a built in clean channel and then a slot for one module. So you end up with a three channel amp. And on top of that, you've also got MIDI controllability of those three channels. Uh, you've got a DI output and effects loop. So it's a real powerhouse, this little amp. And I've gigged it quite a lot now, so I'm quite familiar with it. Uh, so I'm going to do a video just on the Sin 30 at some point. They also do a 50 watt head with two slots for modules, so you end up with four channels. They do a SYN2 rack mount preamp and a power amp. Uh, the SYN2 takes two modules, and I believe you can expand it as well, so you end up with like eight channels if you wanted it. You could possibly go even further than that, um, but don't quote me on it. Uh, they do also a SYN1, which is a desktop uh, dock for one of the modules to give you two channels. It's got a DI and things, so you can use it for recording. But also, if you wanted to, you can do a four cable thing with your existing amp. So you can add the two channels of the Synergy and still utilize your amp's preamp. I think the Syn 2 can also do that. So there's a, sort of a design for every taste out there. If you want a head or a preamp, it's a really cool system. <coughs> I think this amp is absolutely ideal for people that like a variety of tones but aren't interested in going down the digital route. Someone that likes valves or likes hands-on control, actual knobs on a front panel of an amp but still wants that variety. 
this is absolutely perfect for those kinds of people. Now, in my opinion, the real strength of the Synergy system is how accurately it delivers those amp tones. If you're someone like me that has quite an eclectic taste in amps and styles of playing, this kind of thing is perfect without having a massive amp collection. For example, a couple of weeks ago when I first got this, I had a, two gigs in one day. The afternoon gig was kind of poppy and the evening gig was kind of rocky. So I took the Synergy. For the afternoon gig, I used the Morgan AC module. And then for the evening, I used the Friedman BE module. So two very different types of amps and uh, it fitted the gig perfectly. It meant I didn't have to take two amps with me and I wasn't compromising on choosing one amp to do both gigs. The Synergy stuff is also fantastic for recording. If you've got a track and you're looking for the right tone, you can try out a couple of modules, find exactly what fits with that track. You don't have to have a massive wall of amps. Um, the other thing is as well, so for example, I did a recording the other day and I used the Friedman BE module uh, and then to double track, I wanted something a little different. So I put in the Metropolis Metroplex module. And so although they share the same kind of martial -y DNA, they were different enough that it made a huge stereo sound. And that was all from just one amp. <laughs> If you're a valve amp nerd like myself, you'll know that uh, the power amp and other factors within an amplifier has a lot to do with how an amp sounds and feels. So is there going to be a compromise using the Synergy stuff over the original amps? Yes, there is, but it's not half as much as you'd think. They've done some really clever stuff in these preamps, stuff that I don't particularly understand, uh, but to get it to react and sound as close to the original as possible. For example, on each of the modules, there's a switch inside that lets you alter the response of the input valve that lives in either the heads or the preamp permanently to get it to react to your guitar as accurately as possible to the original. And you can also then mess with that if you wanted to change the response slightly, which is really cool. And I know that in at least some, if not all of these modules, uh, they've done some stuff to mimic power amp behavior as well. So again, it sounds and feels as much like the original as possible. So that was some introductory information and tones from the Synergy guitar amp system. I'm gonna be doing some deep dive videos into individual modules, uh, as well as a video on the Syn 30. If there's any particular content that you wanna see, or perhaps comparisons between different modules, do let me know in the comments below. I'll be filming that content in the coming weeks. If you haven't already, please look at liking, commenting, and subscribing on this video, especially if you wanna stay in the loop for more Synergy stuff. I hope whatever you're doing with the rest of your day is great and I'll see you again in another video soon. Cheers guys.